Pauls? Here. Thompson is absent. Festerson? Here. Garnett? Here. Jerem? Melton? Here. Mr. President? Here. Would everyone please stand for the pleasure of the legion to remain standing for our invocation today by Council Member P. Pleasure to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, with great sorrow that we acknowledge the passing of Salvador Fedoni, uh, our dedicated city employee, and the Public Works Department uh, that had a tragic accident in recent weeks. I know we had a prayer last week for him, uh, but I think it's important we, we do note uh, his passing here today. And our thoughts uh, being with the family uh, and with all city employees, service will be tomorrow at 5 p.m. at Poisonowski and Council Bluffs, and we will have a City Council Proclamation signed there in cases for uh, all attendees to encourage folks to attend and support the family in their time of need. At this time, I'd like to suggest we have a uh, moment of silence for uh, Salvador Pedroni and his family. Thank you. City Clerk certifies publication in the Daily Record, the official newspaper on January 27th, known for a pre council and regular city council meeting January 31st, 2017. Current copy of the Open Meetings Act is posted in white binder on the East Wall of the Safe Chambers. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this meeting of the Omaha City Council. The council thanks you for joining us today. As a courtesy to those in attendance, we would ask you to turn off or mute any electronic devices. Uh, before we begin with the, uh, the major portion of our meeting today, uh, I had the opportunity to uh, attend a very special birthday party last Saturday uh, with a uh, young lady, I might add, who uh, celebrated her 80th <coughs> birthday. And uh, we decided to, I decided that we ought to do a proclamation uh, because this is a very special, this is a very special lady and, and, and some of the things that she has done in this community. Uh, in my judgment, deserve recognition. So I will read up the, uh, the proclamation and then I will bring it around and hand it to the family members. And then if anyone wants to say anything, you're more than welcome to do that. But first of all, let me read the proclamation. And it reads, whereas Rachel Ann Brizendine was born in Tennessee on January 2nd, 1937, and remained in that area until moving to Omaha in May of 1969 with her husband and seven children, and whereas following the death of her husband in 1980, Rachel learned to drive and work three jobs to support her family. And whereas in addition to raising her seven children, Rachel also helped to raise the children of young mothers in the community, her grandchildren and great-grandchildren. And whereas Rachel's love and caring for children went beyond her family and community, having been a foster parent for over 30 years, nurturing over 100 children, and whereas at the age of almost 60, Rachel adopted one of those foster children. And whereas Rachel continues to be involved in the lives of children as an active foster parent, and whereas Rachel is grateful for every day having lived 80 years and is looking forward to another 80, now therefore we the City Council of the City of Omaha do hereby proclaim, uh, declare that uh, 31st May of January 2017 as Rachel Ann Brizendine Day and witness thereof, where, where, whereof we have set forth our hand and caused the official seal of the city of Omaha to be affixed on this 31st day of January 2017. Uh, I did ask, I did ask first of all for Rachel to bring her uh, birth certificate because I didn't believe the 80 year old, the 80 year old story. Um, but uh, to 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 be as involved in the community as she is, especially with young people. Uh, all over her neighborhood and, and nurturing over a hundred children through foster care uh, is something special and as I said at the birthday party sometimes heroes are not people that you see on television every day or read about and so forth sometimes these are people that go about their business quietly and make a significant difference in our community and I think working with over a hundred children and continuing to be a foster parent is something uh, that to be celebrated every day of the year. So, Ms. Brizendine, thank you. I 
I will give you your proclamation, and if you or any of the family members would like to say anything, you're more than welcome. I would just like to say thank you. This has been a, this is a great pleasure to me to be here and to accept this. I never thought that what I was doing was all of that important. It was just what I wanted to do and what I love to do. And I just want to say thank you so very much for recognizing me and everything. I never thought I'd ever see this day. But thank you so very much. We'll see you in another 80 years. <laughs> Mr. Clerk. Ordinance on final reading and resolutions, Ray Bonds, item number five, ordinance authorizing and approving a lease purchase agreement between the City of Omaha Public Facilities Corporation and the City of Omaha to provide funds for the lease purchase of certain real property rights in the upscale convention hotel facility constructed adjacent to the City Convention Center, uh, approving the terms and conditions of the corporate not to exceed 140 million lease revenue bonds, A's and amendment of the whole. Public hearing was held on um, uh, one twenty four seventeen. The motion. Motion approved. Amendment of the whole. Second. Moved and seconded to approve the amendment of the whole. No lights. Roll call. Paul. Yes. Pasterson. Yes. Grant. Yes. Jerem. Yes. Milton. Yes. Mr. President. Yes. Five is passed as amended. Six to zero. Six is ordinance to approve a second supplemental indenture of trust between the City of Omaha Convention Hotel Corporation and. National Association, BOKF, uh, as trustee, approving the terms and conditions of the bonds not to exceed $140 million. Public hearing on agenda item, and there's an amendment to the There's an amendment to the whole. Uh, public hearing on agenda item six was held on 124 of 17. The motion? Motion to approve the amendment of the whole. Second. Moved and seconded to approve the amendment of the whole. No lights. Roll call. Paul? Yes. Pasterson? Yes. Garnett? Yes. Jerome? Yes. Milton? Mr. President. Yes. Six passed as amended. Seven. Or six to zero. Item number seven is a resolution approving the, uh, deeming final and authorizing the distribution of the preliminary official statement pertaining to one or more series of lease revenue bonds of the City of Omaha Public Facilities Corporation, approving the form of the bond purchase agreement pertaining to the issuance and sale of said bonds, and approving the form of the letter agreement pertaining to the continuing disclosure associated with the issuance of said bonds. Public hearing agenda item number seven is today. Proponents, please. Seeing none, are there any opponents? Seeing none, public hearing is closed. Motion approved. Second. Moved and seconded to approve item seven. No lights. Roll call. Pauls? Yes. Festerson? Yes. Garnett? Yes. Jerome? Yes. Milton? Yes. Mr. President? Yes. Seven is adopted. Six to zero. Zoning ordinance on final reading and planning board attachments, eight through 11 or one case. Eight is ordinance to rezone property located northwest of 78th Street and Pawnee Road from Agriculture District to Development Reserve District. Property is also located within an existing environmental overlay district. A, Planning Board and the Planning Department recommend approval. Nine is a resolution of preliminary plat entitled uh, Winklebaum Estates is hereby accepted. A, Planning Board and Planning Department recommend approval. And 10 is the plat is hereby approved. A, Planning Board and Planning Department recommend approval. 11 is a subdivision agreement is hereby approved. Public hearing on agenda items numbers 8 through 11 are today proponents, please. Good afternoon, Mark Westergaard, ENA Consulting Group, 10909 Mill Valley Road. Uh, just here to answer any questions that you might have. Thank you. Are there any other proponents who wish to be heard? Seeing none, are there any opponents who wish to be heard? Seeing none, the public hearing is closed. <coughs> Moving and seconded to approve items 8 through, 8, 8 through 11. No lights. Roll call. Paul? Yes. Pasterson? Yes. Garnett? Yes. Jerome? Yes. Milton? Yes. Mr. President? Yes. 8 through 11 are passed. <coughs> Six to zero. Item number 12 is ordinance to amend the boundaries of the major commercial corridor overlay district to incorporate in that district property located at 3303 North 108th Street. A planning board and planning department recommend approval. Public hearing on agenda, on, on agenda item number 12 is today. Proponents, please. Seeing none, are there any opponents? Seeing none, public hearing is closed. Second. Moved and seconded to approve item 12. No lights. Roll call. Paul yes. Festerson? Yes. Grant? Jerem, yes. Milton, yes. Mr. President. Yes. Twelve is passed to seven to zero. Item thirteen through sixteen or one case. Thirteen is ordinance to rezone property located south of Hickory Street from 127th and 129th Street uh, from Development Reserve District and Single Family Residential District to Development Reserve District 
14 is ordinance to rezone to uh, R4 single family residential district high density. A planning board and planning department recommend approval. 15 is a resolution of the replat transmitter herewith entitled Sterling Ridge Estates is hereby approved. A planning board and planning department recommend approval. 16 is a subdivision agreement is hereby approved. Public hearing on agenda items numbers 13 through 16 are today. Proponents, please. Uh, Luke Weatherly Olson Associates, 2111 South 67th Street, uh, here on behalf of the developer and applicant of the project, here to answer any questions if you have them. Okay, thank you. Are there any other proponents who wish to be heard? Seeing none, are there any opponents who wish to be heard? Seeing none, public hearing is closed. Moving and seconded to approve items 13 through 16, no lights, roll call. Paul? Yes. Festerson? Yes. Gernat? Yes. Jerem? Yes. Milton? Mr. President, yes. 13 or, through 16 are passed, 6 to 0. I have number 17, ordinance to approve a major amendment to a mixed-use district development agreement for the Stone Creek Plaza to allow for land use changes to multifamily residential and for the plaza reconfiguration located southwest 156th and 4th Streets. A, Planning Board and Planning Department recommend approval. Public hearing on agenda item number 17 is today. Proponents, please. Pat Hillier, 14710 West Dodge Road. Uh, representing the developer here to answer any questions in regards to the Thank you. Amendment. Are there any other proponents who wish to be heard? Seeing none, are there any opponents who wish to be heard? Seeing none, public hearing is closed. Uh, Ms. Melton. People in, in Stone Creek who haven't mentioned this, but they may just be curious as to what's going in there. Okay. Pat Hillier, 14710 West Dodge Road. Uh, the mixed use amendment here is in regards to basically in response to um, conforming to uh, a more current mixed use uh, layout. Uh, the previous layout was 100% commercial. This is changing that from um, more of a mixed use with half commercial and uh, apartments. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, is there a motion? Sorry, move the approval. Second. Moved and seconded to approve item 17. No lights, no further lights. Roll call. Paul? Yes. Festerson? Yes. Gernat? Yes. Jerem? Yes. Milton? Yes. Mr. President? Yes. 17 is passed to 7 to 0. 18 through 21 in one case. 18, ordinance to rezone property, property located northeast of 168th and Ida Streets from Agricultural District to Development Reserve District. 19 is to rezone to R4 single family residential district high density. A planning board and planning department recommend approval. 20 is resolution of the plat entitled Highland Hills, lots 191 through 381, and outlots D through F is hereby approved. A planning board and planning department recommend approval. And 21 is subdivision agreement is hereby approved. Public hearing on agenda items numbers 18 through 21 are today proponents, please. Good afternoon, Mr. President, members of the council. Mark Johnson, former Camp Doyle and Jobin, 1440 West Center Road. Omaha, uh, appearing today on behalf of the applicant, just here today to answer any questions you might have. Thank you. Are there any other proponents who wish to be heard? Seeing none, are there any opponents who wish to be heard? Seeing none, the public hearing is closed. Moved and seconded to approve items 18 through 21. No further lights. Roll call. Paul? Yes. Pesterson? Yes. Gernat? Yes. Jerem? Yes. Milton? Yes. Mr. President? Yes. 18 through 21. Passed 7 to 0. Items number 22 through 26 are one case. 22 is ordinance to rezone property located northwest of 168th Street and West Dodge Road from Development Reserve District, Mobile Home Residential District, Mixed Use District 2 Development Reserve District. The property is also located with an ACI 14 PL Overlay District and portions lie within the Flood Fringe Overlay District. 23 is ordinance to rezone property to Mixed Use District. A Planning Board and Planning Department recommend approval. 24 is ordinance to approve a major amendment to a mixed use development agreement providing site development standards. A planning board and planning department recommend approval. 25 is a resolution of the replat transmitted herewith entitled West Dodge Point. Replat 2 is hereby approved. A planning board and planning department recommend approval. 26 is subdivision agreement is hereby approved. Public hearing on agenda items numbers 22 through 26 are today. Proponents, please. Yes, Mr. President, members of the Council, Larry Jobin, 11440 West Center Road, appearing on behalf of the developer and the development generally, just here to answer any questions that you might have regarding all these items on the agenda today. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Are there any other proponents who wish to be heard? 
Seeing none, are there any opponents who wish to be heard? Seeing none, public hearing is closed. Move to approve items 22 through 26. No further lights. Roll call. Hall. Yes. Festerson. Yes. Gernat. Yes. Jerem. Yes. Milton. Yes. Mr. President. Yes. 22 through 26 for past 7 to 0. Next is items 27 through 29. 27 is resolution that the preliminary plat entitled Furniture Row 78, located at 119 North 72nd Street, is hereby authorized. A Planning Board and Planning Department recommend approval. 28 is resolution to plat entitled Furniture Row 78, is hereby approved. A Planning Board and Planning Department recommend approval. And 29 is subdivision agreement, is hereby approved. Public hearing on agenda items numbers 27, 28, and 29 are today. Proponents, please. Uh, my name is Joe Dutlops with Thompson, Dreesen, and Dorner. 10836 Old Mill Road, representing the owner. I'm here to answer any questions if you have any. Thank you. Are there any other proponents who wish to be heard? Seeing none, are there any opponents who wish to be heard? Seeing none, public hearing is closed. Oh, uh, Mr. Festus. Thanks, Mr. President. Uh, Joe, if you don't mind, sure. I just have a couple questions for you. This is the uh, Furniture Row building across the street from uh, Crossroads, and I know it's in less than desirable condition right now, so I see this as a real positive uh, progression here with uh, what I think the intention is to demolish the building and have it for redevelopment. Can you tell us a little bit more about the plan? Uh, correct. Uh, it'll be uh, demolishing the bu building, putting up a new uh, building. It'll be a Dem Denver mattress factory. It's the owner of Furniture Row, so they'll be um, doing a new building, having a similar type of footprint in there. I could so this this will be the new new building with parking um, located on the east. And in front of the building, we've uh, changed the property lines a little bit, so and set the building back away from uh, 72nd Street, so it's not right on top of the build, uh, property building. Mm -hmm. And can you discuss a little bit more about uh, your desired tenant or desired business you hope to have there? Uh, right now, uh, in this location here, uh, it will be Furniture Row, uh, Denver, Denver Mattress uh, Mattress Factory, and then this area here is be open for leasing okay uh, we're so not sure who the, who the tenant will be there okay so breaking down the building a new building will be broken down into uh, bays and two some, sections yes. okay two sections and some type of mixed use or in retail is the is the idea correct good thank you uh, and then mr. Thiel just a couple of questions for you that we talked about this morning as well um, so when there is a a demolition in this area anything that's built new uh, is then still subject to the ACI overlay and those enhanced design standards, correct? Uh, James Thiel, planning director, that's correct. Uh, it's the uh, overlay, MCC overlay for that uh, district. Okay, it's the MCC. And then that also requires a certain amount of landscaping, I presume, either on you know, 72nd Street or to the side there, um, certainly as it applies to the parking lot, and also sidewalks and pedestrian uh, access, correct? Uh, that is correct. So that'll all apply, and it, is that applied on this on this visual we're seeing here, or is that something still to come through the process? So landscaping is we've submitted a landscaping plan with the city, and we've been working with them. Okay. Um, you can see the sidewalk along 72nd Street. The rest of that will be green space, um, <coughs> more green space incorporated into the site, and sidewalk and landscaping along Capitol Avenue. Great. Yeah, that will be welcome as we try to enhance the, not only the appearance and the use of this uh, part of the city, but its accessibility to, to pedestrians and with the long-term idea of a major development across the street. And I think some really positive signs already just on this stretch, the you know, new Omaha Academy of Ballet and our urgent care there, and of course the Conservatory of Music, um, wanting to build upon those success stories uh, in coming years. So I appreciate what you're doing here, and uh, I'll motion to approve. Thank you. Move to second to approve. Um, you turn to look it up. <laughs> then move to second to approve. No further lights. Uh, roll call. Paul? Yes. Festerson? Yes. Gernat? Yes. Jerome? Yes. Milton? 
Mr. President. Yes. 27 through 29 are adopted 7-0. Thank you. Pursuant to City Council Rule 70, agenda items number 30 through 31 shall be laid over two weeks for publication and public hearing. Pursuant to City Council Rule 70, agenda items 32 through 36 shall be laid over two weeks. <coughs> special use permit, item number 37, resolution special use permit application by Tom Peltani for a special use permit to allow scrap and salvage services in the heavy industrial district located at 3701 Dalman Avenue is hereby approved. A planning board and the planning department recommend approval. The public hearing on agenda item number 37 has was continued till today. Uh, proponents, please. Uh, Tom Paul Tanny, 3701 Dolman. I'm here to answer any questions you may have. Thank you. Are there any other? Uh, there may be a few questions, so you might want to stay no, down in front. Okay. Are there any other proponents who wish to be heard? Seeing none, are there any opponents who wish to be heard? Seeing none, public hearing is closed. Mr. Grenat. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Tom, thanks for coming down. Um, you know the history of, of, of that uh, yes. of that site, and it, it certainly has had issues over the last twenty years, 10, 10, 12 <laughs> years. Uh, yes, and I'm I, aware. And I know that you're familiar with those already. Yes. Uh, and I put on the record from just from memory uh, last week that uh, there were some health department issues, some sanitation issues, fire department issues. Uh, and I wanted somebody here, and that's why we laid it over a week so you can come down and provide the, the okay. reassurance to uh, the council that what you're applying here for, uh, one, meets the, uh, all the requirements. Okay. Uh, and I, I realize this is a zoned HI heavy industrial, right. and a lot of things can be done there. But the history shows that a lot of things have happened there yeah. as well. Uh, and we don't want to relive that. So no. could you provide us some, some Here's assurance? Here's where it's at. Uh, we haven't had any problems with the fire department since 205, 204, 203. That was before my involvement. The fire department, we've always worked hand in hand with them. Mm -hmm. uh, we are mandated by federal and state law that we have to recycle certain items. And uh, our original plan always that was presented uh, six or seven years ago always showed that where we're going to have recycling and where we're going to have recycling storage. But uh, I can't convince anybody to look at the original plan or do that. So uh, they told me we need to scrap and salvage. I don't think we need it. but. I'm going to do whatever somebody tells me to do until they say it's wrong. So our only intention is we're going to increase our recycling and uh, possibly we'll, uh, in the next 6 to 24 months, build another building in there and uh, employ some more people and then uh, do a more comprehensive recycling than what we have already been doing. Uh, every year now, uh, our recycling has gone up from Oh, maybe 100 tons the first year, and I think last year it was up around 200 tons of material that we recycled. Uh, ferrous and non-ferrous metals, uh, concrete, cardboard, which we were mandated by law to uh, remove, pallets, which we were also mandated for clothing, anything we can recycle out of there that there's a market for, and some that that's not, we recycle. So, uh, and I've been there now since We've had a license there since 2011, and we've had four complaints in the last six years. So, uh, and we address everything. We pick up the neighborhood and clean up and do what we, we try to be a good neighbor to everybody there, and we have not had a lot of problems. So, heavy industrial uh, in the eastern part of Omaha sometimes gets a bad rap. Well, okay. Uh, and I just wanted to take the opportunity now that since you have started, even though that it had some negative history, right? you've made progress in-, in Right, we've, we've, done the, we've done the best we can, uh, and we've responded to every suggestion we've ever had from the neighborhood groups and so forth. Mm -hmm. uh, I work with air quality quite a bit. Uh, Mr. Burns, Mr. Burns. A good, good guy that whenever we have a problem, we can call him and it's- he talks me through it, and we get, you know, we get by with it. That's what you're supposed to do, you know, hand in hand with the government. So, we haven't had any major problems that I know of. I know we've had some different agencies that don't uh, share my view, but 
four complaints in four years, I think, isn't a bad deal on the landfill in the middle of Omaha. So. Since we're, we're, we're talking of complaints, you know, I just want to take this opportunity. Uh, uh, the, I believe one of those complaints, um, when you first took over, was the amount of traffic or proposed traffic, truck traffic, that was coming into your facility. Allow me to finish. Okay. And your response at that time is that you, even though that you saw an increase in the amount of trucks coming in, that spread over time of your operation. Right. Not at all at one time. With what you're proposing here, uh, is it safe to assume that the, if there was an increase in traffic, then that is spread over time uh, in your hours of operation. So my question is, what are your hours of operation going to be to re uh, refresh the record? Uh, approximately eight to five daily, uh, uh, eight to noon on Saturday. Uh, it's, there's not gonna be a great impact on additional traffic. Uh, there's a facility over in Council Bluffs, and we kind of model our what we accept after them. And we get a lot of, we get a, you know, we probably get two to three trucks a day that we have to refuse to load because we can't, there's material in there that I can't take or I can't let it build up, you know. So we refuse them. We'll probably get the same amount of traffic, I imagine, I hope, but we'll uh, be able to uh, do a more, a better job of recycling and maybe keep things up a little cleaner, make the health department happy. Uh, and I'm, I, I feel confident enough that, that you will do that just by driving by when you are not open to see how you keep the, at least the, the, the front and the south side of the facility picked up, trimmed, clean. If there's any damage or graffiti on the fence, it's not there very long. No. So. You know, I, that shows that you're trying to be a good neighbor, at least to me, when I get some uh, complaints and anonymous complaints. Uh, we still have to check those out. And oh, absolutely. There's, you know, uh, we're just like any other business. Uh, why would we want to? Why would we want to make the neighbors bad? Yeah. I mean, there's no, there's no future in that. Yeah. I'm so. sure if you're way out into a, a desolate place, but uh, no, I completely you're surrounded understand. by a lot of mixed uses there, including residential. Right, I completely understand. All right. Uh, I appreciate the time. I appreciate the indulgence of my colleagues. A motion to approve. Okay. Second. Thank you. We moved and seconded to approve item 37. There are no further lights. Roll call. Pauls? Yes. Festerson? Yes. Kernat? Yes. Jerome? Yes. Milton? Yes. Mr. President? Yes. 37 is adopted 6 to 0. Liquor, item number 38. Blue Legends, 2603 South 120th Street, Class C Liquor License, new application, new location. Public hearing on agenda item number 38 is today. Proponents, please. This is Linda Bacon Diggs, and I'm Marilyn Smith, and uh, we're the co-owners, and we're here to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you. Are there any other proponents who wish to be heard? Seeing none, are there any opponents who wish to be heard? Seeing none, public hearing is closed. Second. Moved and seconded to approve item 38. No lights, roll call. Paul? Yes. Festerson? Yes. Granat? Yes. Jerem? Yes. Milton? Yes. Mr. President? Yes. 38 is adopted, 6 to 0. Thank you. Thank you. Item number 39, Smitty's Garage Burgers and Beer, 7610 Dodge Street, Class I liquor license, new application, new location. Public hearing on agenda item number 39 is today. Proponents, please. Dakota Jenkins with Smitty's Garage at 7610. Just here to answer any questions you guys might have. <coughs> Thank you. Are there any other proponents who wish to be heard? Seeing none, are there any opponents who wish to be heard? Seeing none, public hearing is closed. Second. Moved and seconded to approve item 39. No lights. Roll call. Paul? Yes. Festerson? Yes. Kernat? Yes. Jerem? Yes. Milton? Yes. Mr. President? Yes. 39 is adopted 6 to 0. Item number 40, Tiger Tom's Pub, 7103 Military Avenue. Request permission for an addition of the President Class C liquor license of a location, outdoor aerial 
approximately 35 by 28 to the north. A is communications from planning. If you wish to grant, you need to grant contingent on the governor proper permits. Public hearing agenda item number 40 is today. Proponents, please. My name is Ryan Lynch from Tiger Tom's Pub, 7103 Military Ave. Just uh, here to answer any questions that you might have. Thank you. Are there any other proponents who wish to be heard? Seeing none, are there any opponents who wish to be heard? Seeing none, public hearing is closed. Moved and seconded to approve item 40 with the proper permits. No lights. Roll call. Paul? Yes. Pesterson? Yes. Grant? Yes. Jerem? Yes. Milton? Yes. Mr. President? Yes. 40 is approved 6 to 0. Continues on the proper permits. Item number 41, Stokes Grill and Bar, 13615 California Street. Request permission for an addition to the present Class C liquor license of an area approximately 30 by 63 to the east. Public hearing agenda item number 41 is today. Proponents, please. Yes, I'm Gail Karstens, 2126, North 160th. I'm the owner of Stokes. I'm here to answer any questions. Thank you. Are there any other proponents who wish to be heard? Seeing none, are there any opponents who wish to be heard? Seeing none, public hearing is closed. Second. Moved and seconded to approve item 41. No lights. Roll call. Paul? Yes. Pasterson? Yes. Gurnat? Yes. Jerem? Yes. Milton? Yes. Mr. President? Yes. 41 is approved. 6 to 0. Consent agenda. Any member of the City Council may cause an item placed on the consent agenda to be removed. Items removed consent agenda shall be taken up by City Council may following the consent agenda in the order and if they were removed as otherwise provided by City Council Rules of Order. Public, the public hearing on agenda items numbers 42 through 48 were held on January 21st, 24th, 2017. Moved and seconded to approve items uh, 42 through 48. No lights. Roll call. Paul? Yes. Pasterson? Yes. Garnett? Yes. Jerem? Yes. Milton? Yes. Mr. President? Yes. 42 through 48 are passed 7 to 0. The public hearing on agenda items numbers 49 through 54 today. If you wish to address the City Council regarding these items, please come to the microphone, indicate the agenda item number you wish to address, identify yourself by your name, address, who you represent, and if you are a proponent or an opponent. Seeing none, public hearing is closed. Second. Move to approve items uh, 49 through 54. No lights. Roll call. Paul? Yes. Pasterson? Yes. Garnett? Yes. Jerem? Yes. Milton? Yes. Mr. President? Yes. 49 through 54 adopted seven, uh, 6 to 0. Ordinance on final reading out of 55, ordinance to approve an amendment to an amended and restated parking lease agreement with the First National Bank regarding Park Omaha 6 garage A is an amendment. Public hearing on agenda item number 55 is today. Proponents, no, uh, 55 was held on 124.17. Moved and seconded to move the amendment. Uh, no further lights. Roll call. Paul? Yes. Pesterson? Yes. Garnett? Yes. Jerem? Yes. Milton? Yes. Mr. President? Yes. yes. Roll call. Paul? Yes. Pesterson? Yes. Garnett? Yes. Jerem? Yes. Milton? Yes. Mr. President? Yes. 55 is passed as amended, 6 to 0. Item 56 is ordinance to approve an amendment to the amended and restated parking lease agreement between the city and First National Bank regarding. Park Omaha 7 Garage A is an amendment. Public hearing on agenda item number 57 was held on 124.17. <coughs> Motion and second to move to approve the amendment. No lights. Roll call. Paul? Yes. Pesterson? Yes. Garnett? Yes. Jerem? Yes. Milton? Yes. Mr. President? Yes. yes. Second. Roll call. Paul? Yes. Pesterson? Yes. Garnett? Yes. Jerem? Yes. Milton? Yes. Mr. President? Yes. 56? Passed as amended, 6 to 0. Item 57, special ordinance levying a special tax and assessment for the removal of litter. A is an, a group number 2017 01, A is an amendment. Public hearing on agenda item number 57 was held on 124 17. Move Second. Moved and seconded to move the amendment. No further lights. Roll call. Paul? Festerson? Yes. Garnett? Yes. Jerem? Yes. Milton? Yes. Mr. President? Yes. Roll call. Paul? Yes. Pesterson? Yes. Garnett? Yes. Jerem? Yes. Milton? Yes. Mr. President? Yes. 57 is passed as amended, 6 to 0. Item number 58, special ordinance levying a special tax for the cutting and clearing of weeds. Group note 2017 02, A is an amendment. Public, public hearing on agenda item number 58 was held on uh, 124 17. 
Moved and seconded the amendment. No further lights. Roll call. Falls. Chesterson. Yes. Gernat. Yes. Jerem. Yes. Milton. Yes. Mr. President. Yes. yes. Roll call. Falls. Yes. Chesterson. Yes. Gernat. Yes. Jerem. Yes. Milton. Yes. Mr. President. Yes. 58. Passed as amended. 6 to 0. Item 59. Special ordinance laying a special tax for cutting and clearing weeds. Group number 2017-03 and A is an amendment. Public hearing on agenda item number 59 was held on 12417. No for, uh, moved and seconded to <coughs> move the amendment. No lights. Roll call. Halls, Festerson, yes. Garnett, yes. Jerome, yes. Milton. Yes. Mr. President. Yes. That's amended. Roll call. Paul, yes. Festerson, yes. Garnett. Jerome yes. Milton, yes. Mr. President. Yes. 59th passed as amended, 6 to 0. Resolutions. Item number 60. Resolution that the uh, Grammary Park Baker Place Northwest Radio Highway CRA located within Census Tract 55, Block Group 1, uh, bounded by Northwest Radio Highway on the north and east, er Erskine Street on the south, North 48th Street, both sides of for a portion of the boundary on the west is hereby declared to meet the standard of a substandard and blighted area in need of redevelopment compliance with the requirements of the Nebraska Community Development Act and is hereby designated a community redevelopment area. Public hearing on agenda item number 60 is today. Proponents, please. Oh, uh, yeah. This is Don Seaton, Omaha City Planning Department. Uh, I see on the map the uh, redevelopment proposed community redevelopment area that this resolution would establish is along Northwest Radial Highway. Boundaries are uh, on the north side, northwest radial, on the east, northwest radial, Erskine to the south, and this is 40, North 48th Street uh, here, so we have property on both sides of North 48th Street. It's a fairly small CRA, uh, contains mostly older commercial structures. There are no residences within the, uh, within the CRA. The city planning conducted a study uh, to determine the eligibility for designation as a CRA at the request of a property owner who would like to use TIF uh, to redevelop and rehabilitate a historic building at uh, Northwest 48th Street and Radial Highway. It's this building here is a historic grocery store. He's also looking at uh, um, historic preservation tax income tax credits to help with the redevelopment project, which would rehab this building. Uh, in any event, the study finds that the area is indeed eligible for CRA designation, uh, primarily due to the age and condition of the buildings in the area. So the general overall area. So it's this building and then this square block here. Um, other factors such as per capita income, unemployment, population loss are not really applicable to the CRA. Um, those are factors for consideration. Uh, mainly because there are no residents within the area. Uh, but the study does note that the neighborhoods around this area uh, would qualify on the basis of uh, per capita income and having a higher unemployment rate. Uh, there was a neighborhood meeting in late October. Uh, it was well attended. We had uh, three neighborhood associations present, a uh, number of citizens. Uh, there were no concerns about the designation. Just to put the area kind of in a larger context, the, uh, all the shaded area is existing CRA. The yellow area is the newly proposed uh, area for CRA designation. It uh, does meet the criteria. Planning staff supports this CRA designation and resolution and recommends approval of the resolution. Thank you. Are there any other proponents who wish to be heard? Seeing none, are there any opponents who wish to be heard? Seeing none, public hearing is closed. Uh, Mr. Festus. Thanks, Mr. President. I would just say I'm supportive of the designation as well and thank the planning department for working on it. I, I met with the applicant uh, several months ago and they, they've actually been uh, invested there for quite some time with a, do you want to come down and, and speak to it all? Uh, with a grocery store and an ice cream store that's done quite well for the neighborhood. And uh, I know this would be a very welcome transition into the rest of Northwest Radio Street by the time we get this redeveloped as well and, and have the building uh, being reinvested in at the same time. So do you want to talk a little bit more about your plan and yeah. make sure folks know what's going on? Uh, Lawrence Butler, 4803 Northwest Radio Highway. Um, the building in question is one of the original Hinky Dinky grocery stores located on 48th and Northwest Radio. It was the third Hinky Dinky store that was ever constructed specifically for Northwest Radio. 
Uh, we've worked with the uh, Historic Society and the National Park Service on getting Part 1 and Part 2 approvals. Uh, that process was just completed today, and we should have a Part 2 approval on that. Um, like uh, Don said before, uh, a lot of people are excited about it. Um, a lot of folks that are excited about the grocery store that we have, Daddy's Neighborhood Fresh Market, and the local ice creamery, and also the nonprofit dance studio that's there, Pear Tree Performing Arts. Uh, they are excited about the renovation, as so am I. So I guess that's about all I can think of on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to put you on the spot, but I want to focus to know the great work that you are doing there. And I think your background also not only is in business, but is in engineering and construction as well. Yeah, I do. Ha I am a licensed civil engineer in the state of Nebraska and Iowa. So Yeah. So, so we know we know what you're doing, and you're going to do a great job with the old building there. And yes. it, I think it is interesting. It's an old, a former Hickey Dinky. I think a lot of people don't remember that or don't recall that. So it's well, it's pretty cool because yeah. uh, the uh, original owner, Jules Newman, and his son is uh, Murray Newman. He was excited about it once he found out, and he reached out to uh, myself and my wife, and we're going to give him a showing once we start construction. So we're very excited about that. Yeah, and important to have that offering uh, in terms of grocery in the neighborhood too. So we appreciate your interest and your reinvestment. No, oh, thank you. Thanks. Thank uh, you. There was a motion to approve, and I'll second that. Been moved and seconded to approve item 60. No further lights. Roll call. Paul. Yes. Masterson. Yes. Grant. Yes. Jerome. Yes. Milton. Yes. Mr. President. Yes. 60 is adopted. 6 to 0. Pursuant to City Council Rule 70, the public hearing agenda item 61 to 62 shall be held on third reading. Ordinance on second reading. Item 63, ordinance declared necessity requiring private property for the purpose of the Lumberyard District Project OPW 52766. Uh, before we take up item 63, I just wanted to acknowledge that we have in the audience some young people who've been paying very close attention to what we're doing, and I'm glad to see that they're doing <coughs> that because they are right. They are a, a journalism writing class from UNO, so we wanted to acknowledge them and and uh, thank them for their participation. And there will be a quiz after this is over. <laughs> and the World Herald Reporter will be the he, proctor. the proctor. Yes, he will. Yes, yes, he will. <laughs> item 63, the, the uh, public hearing on agenda item number 63 is today. Proponents, please. Seeing none, are there any opponents? Seeing none, public hearing is closed. Next item. Item 64 is approving a redevelopment tax center financing. Redevelopment agreement with 18th Street Omaha LLC to implement the World Hotel Tax Center Financing Redevelopment Project <coughs> plan for the redevelopment project located at 203 South 18th Street, which provides for adaptive reuse and conversion of an older vacant office building into a boutique hotel. Public hearing on agenda item number 64 is today. Proponents, please. Seeing none, are there any opponents? Seeing none, uh, public hearing is closed. Get your pens ready because our vice president is getting ready to make some comments. Oh, he took his light, turned his light off. Turn it back on. <laughs> well, I, I was somewhat hopeful there would be someone here from planning to talk about this since it's such a nice project. Um, to take the original headquarters of the um, Woodman of the World, World Insurance, and uh, convert it to a hotel for a boutique hotel, and hopefully trigger some commercial retail activity along the little narrow stretch of 18th Street between uh, Douglas and Farnham. But uh, since there's no one here and you forced me to speak, I think I'll keep my words <laughs> short so we can move on. Thank you. Um, Next item, please. <laughs> item 65, a special ordinance levying a special tax for removal of litter. Group note 2017-04. Public hearing agenda item number 65 is today. Proponents, please. Seeing none, are there any opponents? Seeing none, public hearings closed. Next item. 66, a special ordinance levying a special tax for the cutting and clearing of weeds, grass, and worthless vegetation. Group number 2017-05. Public hearing on agenda item number 66 is today. Proponents, please. Seeing none, are there any opponents? Oh, you're a proponent. Yeah, I'm for it. Okay, <laughs> come on, <laughs> come on down, Miss Ella. <laughs> okay, my name is Ella Willis, and I'm at uh, my address is 4123 North 25th Avenue. And since I see you putting the levy taxes on cutting the weeds and stuff, I wanted to know how y'all are going to be taking care of your own property that's out, that's out that way in North Omaha because I see the city have several lots in North Omaha, which they do not maintain and keep up. Also along the interstate way, uh, off, of 20, off of 24th and Sprague, 
uh, the weeds is not being cut, and in the center of 25th Street is an owl there, and it does belong to the city. <coughs> and I want to know, are y'all going to tax yourselves, or are you going to keep it cut out there? Because I've been keeping the lot cut next to my property, which belongs to the city of Omaha. Uh, I think we'll talk to who's, which <laughs> department. <laughs> 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 so, uh, and that address where the property I know that you own is 4122 North 25th street and i've been maintaining that property for the last 20 years uh, do i get reimbursed for uh, for cutting the yard i'll get uh, uh, some incentives on cutting keeping the property up that way i, I don't think we work that way miss ella but thank you thank you for bringing it to our attention okay. and, and uh, i will we will make sure that it gets oh i think mr paul's you got a, your light is on I do appreciate you coming forth because if we're going to put the pressure on uh, property owners, right. we ought to take a look at ourselves. Right. And uh, I'm assuming there's somebody who's looking at uh, those are properties you're talking about. And I'm uh, if something tells me something's going to get done. If not, come back, and some of us will help you get it done. Well, it, I know that uh, neighborhood action and facts have uh, a redevelopment plan on that area, but even even now we need it to be taken care. Of, not right. wait till that come up it might be another year before that come up and I would like to see the property being maintained out there because we are trying to improve our area in which we live like the area where you live at right and I appreciate that uh, having the pride in the property thank you and thank you very much thank you uh, next item item 67 a special order this allowing a special tax for cutting and clearing of weeds group down 2017-06 public hearing on agenda item number 67 is today proponents please seeing none of there any opponents Seeing none, public hearing is closed. Next item. Item 68 is the Wallinger Corporation appeals the rejection of their bid of December 21st for OPW 527-51 Missouri River Wastewater Treatment Plant High Pressure Biogas Compressor Replacement. Public hearing on agenda item number 68 is today. Proponents, please. Hi, my name is Dan Zimmerman. I'm with the Wallinger Corporation, 8802 South 121st Street. What's the basis of, What's the basis of your complaint? Appeal. Uh, we proposed on a project December 21st, 2016. It was for the Missouri River Wastewater Treatment Plant. High pressure biogas compressor replacement project it was OP, OPW project number 52751. <coughs> there was three bidders on the project. We were the apparent low bidder. We did get a rejection letter because we did not meet the 3% uh, participation in the City of Omaha Small and Emerging Small Business Program. Uh, to be honest, we did not fully understand it. It had a 3% requirement. We wound up getting a 1.96% fulfillment of it. After I was notified, I went back and kind of talked to our small business partner we bid it with and was able to uh, identify some work items that they could legally perform on the project since we're a licensed mechanical contractor and we were able to get them up to 3.1%. So I guess I'm here asking if you would allow the project to be awarded the same bid amount that we've met the 3.1% requirement. Okay, thank you. Are there any other proponents who wish to be heard? Seeing none, are there any opponents who wish to be heard? Good afternoon, Heather Pierce, Public Works. Um, we we did do the rejection and are um, requesting the denial of this appeal. Um, this was a pretty straightforward case of um, our municipal code requires that full identification of the reserve requirements be met as of bid day. Um, with the bid that was submitted by the Wallinger Corp, they had 2%, if you round. Um, the requirement minimum floor was 3%, so it was a pretty straightforward case of failure to meet the requirements. Um, and as I stated, for that reason, we believe that this appeal should be denied. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any other opponents who wish to be heard? Seeing none, the public hearing is closed. Mr. Paul, did you have it? No, oh, I'm sorry, you didn't have the line up. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, is there a motion? Or Ms. Del Ms. Melton? I went, and I just want to say, I think that this is this is one of those cases where I think it's unfortunate, and maybe that you didn't have your intentions, and it was a little more maybe of the not being completely aware. And we've had this come up already once before on another on another project. 
and although we understand that and it seems like it's maybe a clerical mistake on the part of your corporation I think it's really important because the amount of work um, the council has spent our HR and our department Heather Tippy Pierce uh, director um, Spencer Danner um, on the requirements and the SEB and, and everything that we've done over the last couple of years that we just remain consistent because if we if we say okay well we understand that maybe this was just a internal mistake and that's not gonna happen again so we're gonna excuse it this time I think what we're stuck with is a precedent for everybody else and so that's that's where please don't take our rejection of your appeal um, personally or no. that we're not going to it's can it's I one add, of those things that we just other, hate that we hate add, doing but we're gonna have to remain consistent with all of with all of our bid processes fine. can I just add one thing um, this was a mechanical prime project um, our self-performed work was 94% of the bid to me it was not a very good job to pick to make that requirement I only had 6% that I could go look for SBE contractors we did solicit quite a few and got no response back from them so I was very limited on what I could propose to meet the requirement to begin with so maybe in the future if this type of work that's heavy mechanical it does get a little tough to <coughs> hit the small business percentages that some people may be looking for so I understand if you do reject it I know it is a kind of coming back after the fact but I just thought I'd try to do it anyways no and we appreciate and I appreciate what you do and I think in the future too I think um, uh, Miss Tippy Pierce would be willing to probably work with you if you have a project like that that mm. you were struggling to maybe hit that percentage the people here in our in our department public works are more than willing to help as well as the chamber um, with their the reach program and Spencer Danner here as well our director number of people that I think would be able to help you get to that percentage just so that you don't lose a future bid sure. um, based upon that okay so yeah. thank you so much Thanks. mr. Simmons I might well um, yeah. mr. general yeah and if, if you could stick around for a few minutes the meeting shouldn't be going on much longer mr. Danner maybe you could exchange information on the way out he could, okay. he could meet with you to help Waldinger um, hopefully in the next time around sure do better All right. thank you is there a motion moved and seconded to deny no lights roll call Paul yes. Festerson yes. Grenat yes. Jerome yes. Milton Mr. President, yes. 68 is denied 6 to 0. Pursuant to City Council Rule 70, the public hearing agenda item 69 through 76 shall be held on third reading. Pursuant to City Council Rule 7C, the public hearing agenda item 77 through 78 shall be held on the second reading. Ad additional resolution item number 80, resolution that the bid from Finley Fire Equipment Company uh, for the purchase of one Stefan Rescue Pumper is hereby approved. Public hearing on agenda item number 80 is today. Proponents, please. Seeing none, are there any opponents? Seeing none, public hearing is closed. Second. Moved and seconded to approve item 80. No lights, roll call. Paul, yes. Festerson, yes. Kernat, yes. Jerem, yes. Milton. Yes. Mr. President. Yes. 80 is adopted, 6 to 0. Motion adjourned. Second. Moved and seconded to adjourn. No lights, roll call. Paul, yes. Festerson, yes. Kernat, yes. Jerem, yes. Milton. Yes. Mr. President. Yes. We stand adjourned at 2.54 p.m.